Good day. In this video, we are going to do the unit standard 32406. Use maths and stats to meet the numeracy demand of a range of situations. This is the exam that was done on June 2023 and this is a numeracy paper that is worth 10 credit. To get this 10 credit, you need to get 3 of the outcome so each question has different outcome so you need a combination of all the outcome to be able to pass this paper and to get the 10 credits so without further ado let's do question 1g and 1h of this paper okay so the question in 1g look like this okay we shall read the question together okay in grid packs kiwi fruit she is paid $33 for every bin she filled. She averaged about one and one third bin per hour. How much money should Ingrid expect to make if she works for 10 hours? So we know the point here, one and one third bins per hour. So if she works 10 hours, the total bin will be one and one third for each hour, you multiply by 10. So that will give us a total of 40, over 3 or you convert to decimal is going to be 13.333 recurring for the total number of bin and we are also told that she is paid 33 dollar for every bin she fill so 33 dollar so amount of money in grid would make would be expect to be the total number of bin she fill so total for 10 hours she will fill 13.333 recurring and you're going to multiply by 33 dollars and if you put in your calculator the answer is going to be 440 if you get it right that is outcome number one okay outcome number two is a bit more uh in detail, you need to talk about more in statistics. So as usual, in statistics, you need to provide evidence of how you analyze the data. So we shall read the question. The graph shows the percentage of secondary school students with part-time job between 1973, some starting from year 1973, to 2023. So every line, it represents two years. So if the dot or in the middle of that line, so it will be an odd year. If it's on the line, it's an even year. So we shall read that, okay? So is the following statement true? The question is, the percentage of year 13 students with part-time job is greater than the percentage of year 11 students with part-time job. Explain your answers using numbers from the graph. Remember, you must use numbers from the graph. So I have written this down and I'm going to read them to you, okay? In all the years from 2010, 2010 is here. From here onwards, you can see that the year 13, the one with the dotted line, is higher than the one with the solid line. The, the solid line, the year 11, the dotted line, year 13, you can see from 2010 onwards, the dotted line is always higher than the solid line. So, for example, you know, give a number. So, in 2023, this is the 2023, okay? The number of percentage of year 13 is going to be 71%, okay? Because this is 71%. And for year 11, which is this point, it's going to be at 40%, okay? So we can see definitely that the year 13 has more part-time job than the year 11. And the second point, we're going to say that the percentage increase from 2003, so 2003 is this point here, okay? Here, okay? Is a lot steeper than the year 11 for year 13 will be a lot faster and steeper than the year 11 so we need to give some uh, numbers to it so and for the year 13 it starts at 2003 it starts at 25 percent and it ends at 71 percent an increase of 46 percent okay for the year 11 it starts at around 30 31 percent i reckon 32 percent and it's going to end at around 40 percent so the increase is only eight percent so the year 13 has increased from 46 percent while the year 11 has only increased by eight percent this again shows that the year 13 has more part-time job than the year 11. so this is the basic of statistics you need to argue your case and you need to give them evidence so this if you can answer them with two of this point you will get up outcome number three 
and we'll look at the next question, which is question two in the next video. Cheers, everyone, and have a good day.